me to what I think we're being selected for these days. Because, you know, throughout time, people die. And then they if they're not able to reproduce, then it's it's like, okay, they were selected against. They're not going to reproduce. Their traits aren't passed <clears throat> down to generations, right? I can use this stuff while in biology class <laughs> for this thing. <laughs> And, but the, you know, the ones that did reproduce, us, you know, mm-hmm. the cool guys who made it, we... Well, our dads, the, okay, not us. <laughs> <laughs> guys and girls, um, you know, our genes are passed along. So, mm-hmm. but then it's like, okay, people aren't really dying as much these days. You know, the, the curve of, like, human life in the world is like this, and then it fucking just shoots up to present day. <clears throat> so what are we being selected for now? I know there's, like, been, uh, like, some theories and stuff. But I just thought about this the other day. It's like, I think anxiety and depression are big ones. Because what mm. do you tell me, Ken? Uh, what is the biggest cause of death for um, teenage Ex- and early... <clears throat> accidental injury. Accidental injury, right. So it's accidental energy, injury, and then, and then what? Do you know number two? I think it's suicide. <clears throat> you think so? I think it is. Mm. If not, it's number three, but I think it's number two. So anyway, accidental injury. So people that are taking major risks are essentially Mm. dying a lot. And then um, also people who, um, yeah, like are too, whatever, have too much anxiety or too much depression and are Mm. in like an environment that it's not conducive for that. And, you know, they're committing suicide before they're able to reproduce. So that's big. I was thinking about this too, but in a different way. I think like we oh fuck my phone vibrated that means i gotta put it on silent <clears throat> um i think cut this part out <laughs> i think we went down the wrong path as a society i think <laughs> okay <laughs> it's more of like it's more like i think get deep as fuck. yeah deep than the you know okay, you know well, what are we being selected for us with the superficial <clears throat> um i think like we had multiple routes to go down um and i think we chose the wrong one um you're talking about like the tribal <clears throat> homogenous type kind of kind of versus like yeah the so independent... how we structure a society i think we went down like the wrong route and i think that's like a lot of like the cause of the um <clears throat> problems that we have because if you think about it <clears throat> who signed up for a society where there's like 10 people that have all the money and then you know, 80% people that have, like, equal okay. to them. you're talking <clears throat> income inequality. Uh, kind of, but more, I, I'm i going to try and build on it if I don't, <laughs> if I don't get lost along the way. <laughs> but, you know, for the most part, like, the upper percentage have everything, you know? Yeah. And, like, <clears throat> what do you do if you have everything, you know? You, I don't, I don't even fucking know, like, you gotta like what are you working towards at least like if you were in like a hunter gatherer thing your needs were all not always met and so you were like you know going out and you were like having to and i have a good example of like to back this up but you were going out and you had to hunt for food you didn't have time to worry about this shit um and then the lower you know percentage of like let's say the bottom like 20 percent they're constantly trying to like claw their way out of like the bottom 20 but the society is built in a way that like it's impossible you know, <clears throat> if you have nothing, how are you going to build yourself up? At least in like, you know, hunter gatherers things, you can just go out and get food. But here it's like, how are you going to do that? I guess I think, it, yeah, you're just more linked to the community back then. Whereas now it's <clears throat> like you make your own way or you don't. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and have you heard of uh, David Cho? Choi? Uh, sounds familiar. He's like this Asian guy. Um, he has a new show out on Hulu. Watch it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he was on uh, Joe Rogan. And he was talking about his experience. He went and lived with like the Hadza tribe in Africa, and okay. there's like one of the few remaining like hunter gatherer tribes. And uh-huh. he's like, I went um, initially for like you know a certain amount of time, and I still like I had like I lived with them, but I still had my own food. I had like protein bars, water, and a few other things. And like he said, they were just like living off the land. They didn't have anything. He's like, I made more trash myself than the rest of the entire tribe did. (laughs) And he's like, before I went there, I was severely depressed and, you know, I was severely anxious. And while I was living with them, I had none of that. You know, everything 
was going better for him. He wasn't taking any medication because right. he takes a lot of medications. And then he's like, I eventually tried to just go all in. <clears throat> and he's like, I felt amazing. You know, I didn't take my protein bars. I didn't take my water. You know, I just did whatever they did. And in the beginning, it was tough. But like, he's like, as I got more accustomed, it was super like enlightening to live like that. I mean, we're like, not like physiologically <laughs> built for this environment especially yeah. now that we've come to the city new york i mean holy fuck we're not meant for this shit like yeah. just concrete everywhere you don't see anyone all day and like when you do it's just for like a job type yeah. shit and yeah <clears throat> so what i mean i can't believe i brought it all the way back to <laughs> what i mean that like you know i think we took the wrong route was that i think we made it to a point where we're just have complete comfort you know and like it's kind of individualistic and there's no sense of community like here for example in new york i don't feel a sense of community no um but when i'm at home in like my small town which is like still like 200 some thousand mm -hmm. like it's nice at I least go, there's something yeah. yeah and like there's a pride parade and i felt good i was like oh these people are like in the city i live in and like mm -hmm. i would go to a lot of events but here it's like so many people i don't have any mm -hmm. connection to anything and i think that is also part of like you know there's not really any like uh shared spaces here like in uh brooklyn at least like the nearest park is like 10 minutes away um which is like it's not that far but like besides that like what is there there's like mm. nothing no the nearest park from us what's what we checked is 23 minutes away um that fucking oh yeah yeah i don't remember what it's called <clears throat> um but like at home like i live like literally right beside like a big swampy area mm. i can go outside i can be with nature you know there's a lot of like it's a smaller community you know i know my neighbors but here it's like a lot different I and man like. yeah being completely away from nature it definitely does some kind of thing to you like it affects you negatively in some way i don't yeah. understand it but when you're around nature more or like have to be in it all the time <clears> like you just feel way better and it doesn't make a lot of sense yeah like everyone should go camping or some type of thing where they're in nature every mm -hmm. once in a while at least experience it because it's like you need it like your body needs it for something we just i mean our whole the whole existence of the human race has been based in nature yeah. and then we took it away yeah. <laughs> you know it's <laughs> yeah. like that it's gonna do something mm -hmm. you yeah know? and i'm 